everyone. So welcome back to Brush Tips with Sherry. Today we are going to be painting some super awesome, beautiful roses. Um, we're going to be using roses probably in different flowers, probably throughout a lot of paintings that we do. So I figured let's just get that out of the way. Let's just start it now, get it out of the way, and then everyone can see how amazing these are. So we're just going to do three big roses, a little rose right here, and of course if you want to add any other um, little roses in, or you just want to cover this whole thing with roses and no greenery, feel free to do that. So we are going to be using some pretty awesome colors today. And those colors are green, yellow, red, pink, white, and black. If you don't have these colors at home, it's okay. We can make pink with just some white and some red. You, if you have a different shade of green, we can use that. Um, but we can definitely play around with what we have here. All right, so what I suggest that you all do is paint your whole background white. All right, I've actually have a gessoed canvas right here. Um, you can paint your whole background white. I'm not going to just because it'll save us some time. This one's already painted white. And then we can start with the middle flower, okay? So I want you to position this flower anywhere that you want to. We're gonna be using a medium brush today and a smaller medium brush. Not a little baby tiny brush, okay? I'll show you what I've got. I've got a couple different brushes in here just because I've been playing around with some painting this week. So we're gonna go with these two, okay? Do you see these? So this is like little round brushes. If you want, you can get one like this too. This one's a fun one. This is like a square, little square brush, okay? So we're gonna start off with this one right here. So are we ready, my awesome paint friends? All right, let's grab some red and we're gonna move it over here to the pink. And we're gonna build layers, okay? We're gonna build, build, build lots of layers on these flowers. Um, I think this flower, these flowers here have three different layers of paint on them, okay? So grab some of that red, there you go. The bachelor final coming up. This one is perfect for the bachelor final coming up. Absolutely. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make what looks like a pepper ring. I was trying to describe it when I was making it and I thought, yeah, this looks like a pepper ring. If you need to, you can switch it around like this. Okay. There we go, there's our pepper ring. I'm gonna grab some more pink, mix in with that red. And I'm just gonna come back and do that same thing. Another layer. Move it a little bit further down and add another layer. Now what I'm gonna do here is gonna be a little bit tricky, but you should be able to get it pretty easy. I'm just gonna take some solid red. I'm just gonna kind of make a little scribble there. Do you see a little scribble? This is gonna be the inside of our rose. Look at that, this goes upside down. <laughs> Whoa. So you see right here with this inside of the rose? Man, I'm gonna knock everything down today. Here's some inside of the rose, inside of the rose, inside of the rose, okay? So that's what this guy is right here. Then we're gonna come back here and we're just gonna go like this. Okay, this is gonna give us a little bit of depth. And clean off our brushes. Remember if your brushes get wet, or if your brushes aren't wet enough, then you definitely wanna get them wet enough, okay? So let's let this guy dry. We're gonna move on to another one. Now you can pick, put it here, put it here, put it here, put it here, wherever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this one right here, okay? Just gonna grab that red and that pink again. You can even grab a little white and put a little white in there, which is what we're gonna do when we come over here and do this one. So don't feel like you have to do the white. So again, same thing, pepper ring flowers. And bring it up here too. If you're going off your canvas, make sure you bring it up, okay? 
Don't feel like you can't bring that up. And I want it to kind of overlap. So do that same thing here. Grab a little bit of that. Let's just go in with straight red. This is gonna be my middle part right here, okay? Mix that with the pink. Bring this back out on top. It's almost like boom, 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 boom. Okay, see this one up close? Next. Last one is going to go right down here. And again, add another pepper ring in. And these can be all different sizes. If you want them to be a little bit smaller, make them a little bit smaller. They don't have to be giant. Remember, there's no rules here. We can do whatever we want because we're the boss of our own painting. Grab some of that red again. Let's move this one like right here. So let's put this here, but then we need to mess this up a little. I just made some weird noise like I don't even know if you can hear that. Let's go like this. Oops, I forgot I went up this way first. Bring some of that back out on top. So I know that this just looks like three big, messy balls of red, but trust the process, friends. In a little bit, it is not gonna be big, messy balls of red, okay? So let's rinse off our brushes. And what I want you to do is now start to add some greenery in there. We'll go back and we're gonna go back and we're gonna play with this a little bit, but I want this first layer to dry just a little bit so that our second layer has some paint to attach to, okay? Here we go. I do not have a really light colored green, so I take some yellow and I mix it with the green. It just gives me a nice like vibrant yellow color okay so then what we're gonna do is wherever you want just start to lightly add some greenery in there okay and let's add a big leaf right here so what's what's kind of crazy about rose leaves is that on the edges they're kind of um, rigid so they're almost like this so I just like to kind of make them a little bit rigid along the edge. Fill this in, just throw some in there. Make sure you wrap it around the side again. Remember we talked about that. Can you see how rigid it is on the edge? Perfect. I don't care for this brush trying to do straight lines. So if you need to move to a smaller brush or a more straight line brush, like that one that I showed you right there, um, go for it. Just switch up brushes. Use whatever brush makes you comfortable. After all, this is your masterpiece. And then we're just gonna put some leaves on either side just like that did you see how i went like every other one one two one two one two and that's how i count those when i go to do that let's add some fun greenery over here let's make some super fun leaf i almost said flower i'm like Bleh. oh you know what before we fill a tomb far in, we better add our other little short, little small bud there. So let's add some ridges here. Some ridges here. And let's get that little flower bud on there, okay? So rinse off your brush can, because now we gotta rinse all that green off. And let's just grab some of this red and pink. I'm gonna go right down here, since obviously that's where I have the most room. We almost forgot about our, <laughs> our little flower bud. I'm gonna go right here. 
See how I started with that? I'm gonna give it a little arm here and a little arm here. Make it go up here. And we're just gonna let that dry also, okay? You can shade it a little bit while it's still a little wet if you want. Okay, perfect. Rinse that brush off again because we're gonna go right back to that green. You know, it sounds like clicking. Click, 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 click. All right, let's get some more greenery here. Maybe add a couple little stems in, let this dry. We can come back in and shade in a little bit. I'm trying to see how many big leaves I have on here. I like this grouping where I have like two leaves right here, so I think I'll do that right here. Let's add another leaf here. Now this one's pretty yellow, so I'm gonna come in with some of this dark green. Kind of play around. Play around with it, you know? Use, use the brush, like when you go to push, push a little heavy on the brush. That's all. So if you're, you're just trying to make a thin line, go real light. But if you want it a little thicker, go ahead and just push a little thicker. Okay. Let's let this dry. My middle flower is pretty dry, so I'm just going to rinse off my brush. I'm going to let this greenery start to dry a little bit. Rinse, rinse, rinse. And let's come back in with the red. I'm actually going to pull a little white over to the pink, to that hot pink that I have. And let's just start, it's almost like you're starting all over again. Even if you want this rose to be on top of these two roses, um, then go over the other two roses. But if you don't care and you want this one maybe on top of this one and this one not on top of that one, still go over it. Let's fill this whole rose in then when we come back over with this one, that's when we'll put them back on top, okay? And I should probably turn this around again so that way we're not upside down. And let's just hit this middle part. I'm gonna grab some white since it's so dark. Okay, I'm gonna come back in with this pink here. Just start working my way this way perfect i'm gonna let that dry you're gonna let it dry so let's hit this again Oops, let's hit it with some white so that way we have it let's hit this one with the white just so we know where the middle is okay let's pull this pink and white we have the dog she's laying here um on the floor next to me so if you hear her breathing she's sleeping there we go she comes to work with me you see i'm using my whole brush here okay whole brush boom i'm gonna go a little up here don't forget to hit your side okay now you can already see that there's a little bit of depth inside your flower right and that's what we want. We want that depth to be in there. So the next one we're gonna do, my voice sounded so raspy just a minute ago. So much pollen in the air. And let's hit this. Don't forget to do that side. So our canvas is wrapped around. Come back, come back. Almost like you're sweeping a floor. All right, almost like you're sweeping a floor. Now, if you're at home, you can go and blow dry this. That's great. Um, if you're painting this along with me, feel free to go blow dry it. I'm just kind of touching this guy up a little bit. I feel like it looks a little messy. 
don't want my flower to be too messy for you. Okay, so we're gonna let this guy, these three guys dry. Just let them dry. Let's play around with the greenery again and with this cute little bud here, all right? So grab some of the dark green and we're gonna shade a little bit of the leaf in. Do you see how I did that? Just really, really easy, just super lightly. Just wanna add some depth. So here we went a little dark with that, so let's just pull a little bit of yellow in there, okay? Perfect, perfect. Now obviously you can hang this anywhere and you can also make your roses any color that you want. If you're trying to match some decor in your house or maybe you wanna give it to somebody as a gift, then definitely feel free to make these any color you want. Play around here, bring some more greenery in, how about here? You can overlap. If you don't want to overlap, don't overlap. So I'm kind of loving where all this greenery has gone. I'm trying to see what else we could do. I don't really care for this guy. Oh yeah, we got to make this. Add a little yellow in there. See how I just did that? Just bumped the bottom a little bit. Couple like three Three little swishes. One, two, three. I'll add this. I'm making my roses leaves go a different way. They're kind of backwards right now, but I don't know what that giant, but it's a giant semi driving down the road. That's what we all hear. <laughs> One thing that is different than doing this in studio is that when you're in the studio, you can't hear anything that goes on outside. But when we are in our personal studio, like not the TV studio that we normally record in, but now we're in our personal studio and we can hear it and see everything. But one day the dog went crazy and was just barking up a storm. But that's okay. It all worked out. Rinse that brush again. We want these to be a little bit dry. Mine are not dry, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fan dry them. I'm just gonna hand, stand here like this. I'll dry it a little bit and then we can go back in and play with the roses again. And again, it's so totally up to you however you wanna do these in whatever color, whatever style. Um, maybe you want the centerpiece to actually be in the center more like this one is. You can do that too. Dry, 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 let it dry. I know I'm a really great singer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I don't do karaoke. This is probably one of my favorite paintings right now because it's very springy and everybody needs a little spring in their life. I don't care where you are. I feel like the country has had some cold, cold days. <laughs> All right, so and go back in with some straight red here. Not too crazy, just real lightly. I still want some of that pink to show. Just real soft. Okay. See how some of that pink is still showing? That's what's gonna give you your depth in that rose. Do that same thing right here. And it's okay to leave like a little gap in between some of these too. See that? And let's do that same thing here. Oh my gosh, I hope the dog doesn't bark. He'll just walk 
Okay. You see, this guy's really wet. So. Perfect. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna do a little, little magic trick. We're gonna take a little bit of black. You were wondering when we were gonna pull that black in, weren't you? Take a little bit of black. Take some red. Let's move this to the center, okay? Let's mix this black with this red. Do you see this super pretty dark red that it makes? See how pretty that is? It almost looks black, but it's not. It's not, I promise. And we're just gonna come in and really, really lightly, friends, just hit it with the side of your brush. Now you can get a small detail brush for this if you want. Oh, let's get some more in there. Let's get a little bit more. See that? Do you see how we did that? We just added a little bit of depth in there, add a little layer of dark red, and it just made your rose pop. We'll do that here. Now you don't have to put this dark in if you don't want to. I just put it right in between all that red. Okay, let's do that here too. See, I'm not going back in and getting a ton of paint on my brush. There's enough on my brush that I can just add this good, quick little layer, okay? All right. Let's do that here. Ooh, that's really dark. Let's pull some of that red back in there. Whoops. I made a little boo-boo. That's okay. It's a good accident. Here we go. Perfect. How's that? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rinse my brush again. And I'm just gonna take a little bit more red, just plain regular red. Dog just walked by me here. You hear that? <laughs> oh, and I'm just gonna hit some of this with a little bit of bright red the deep red just adds a little bit more depth. <laughs> now you can let this dry in between layers if you want, but you do not have to. Um, I, mine was still pretty wet, but not too wet. I mean, it was good enough that we could just add these quick little layers in. Oh, we almost forgot about the baby again. Oh my gosh, okay. Super quick, sorry baby. Okay, super fast. Just throw a little bit in there. It'll make it feel better. And then my friends, now comes the most amazing part. This is the part where you own your painting. So what I want you to do is you can grab a little Sharpie or you could grab a little tiny brush and friends, I just want you to know that this masterpiece that you just made is definitely signature worthy. So go ahead and dip that in a little bit of black and all I'm going to do is hit this with a little initial there and boom, I own my painting. I have just created this masterpiece just like you've created your masterpiece. So. My wonderful paint friends, until next week, go out, be amazing artists, and spread lots of rosy love, okay? Bye everyone, thanks for tuning in. See you soon.